guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video where I show you guys my Rider weight clone tarot deck collection. So before we get started, let's count to see how many I have here on the table. By the way, I am filming in my kitchen slash dining room area, so <laughs> it's a little bit echoey, um, but the lighting is a little bit better in here, and I have the big kitchen table space, which I need because I have a lot. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 19 decks to show you guys. So let's kind of get, let's get to it. Let's start first with the Rider Waite Tarot, the one that everybody is aware of. This is the Rider Waite Tarot. If you're not familiar with it, it is um, pretty much the tarot deck <laughs> that you see everywhere. It pops up a lot in movies. It pops up a lot in like the tarot books or um, imagery and whatnot. This is the Rider weight. okay? I bought this one yesterday, actually. It was a, an impulse buy um, because I didn't have a tarot deck in my bag. I was starting to feel a little emotional and I you know, gave myself some shopping therapy. <laughs> Probably didn't need to do that. Um, and I bought a Rider Waite deck. So I actually have two of these, um, two of these versions. Um, it's the one with the plaid backs. Okay, this is the newest one that they have out in the store. So I got this one at Barnes and Noble. Um, I, as far as I know, the decks themselves look exactly the same. This was a little bit older that I bought. The cardstock is pretty much the same. I I do have another one that I use, um, but I use it as bookmarks. So I actually use tarot cards as bookmarks when I'm reading. So that that deck is like mix, it's like missing a few um, cards because I have them as bookmarks. So the newest version of the Rider Weight that you can find in the stores and probably everywhere, like Barnes and Noble and stuff, the cardstock is pretty decent. Um, the one that I have that I use for my bookmarks, the cardstock is actually, um, it's the car, it's glossy, like super, super glossy. This one's not as glossy. So, um, it's actually kind of nice. Um, the cardstock's not super bendy, but I really like the drasticness of the color scheme in this Rider weight. Um, it's really bright yellows. Really, really bright blues, lots of, you know, just very, really, <laughs> it has the gray backs, um, the gray skies, blues, yellows, the blue, yellows, and even some of the reds really pop out um, in this version. And like I said, the card backs are plaid. They're plaid, um, just the blues. So real basic. So that is um, one version that I have. I'll keep the other one out since I don't have it in a box for just to kind of show a comparison later on. Next, we have um, another version of the Rider weight. So this one also has the plaid backs. This is an, a used copy that I actually bought on Amazon. It's um, from the 1970s. So it's rather, it's an older version. Um, the reason why I got this one is because the cardstock is more um, papery and matte, okay? So it's very much different from the newer ones. You can see this newer one kind of has a glare, like has a glare to it. This one doesn't have it at all. It's a matte, it feels more papery. Um, so you can kind of see the colors on this one, the, the 70s version, are much more muted. Um, the card backs, as you can see, the 1970s version is a lot more lighter. It's more muted kind of a color than, um, than the crazy, <laughs> the more contrasted um, blues of the other Rider Waite. The, um, and, but they're still very, you know, the blues, you still have the gray skies, the yellow skies and um, just a lot of the blues and yellows really pop out in the deck. So other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just the paper, like the cardstock is different. And I really love this version because 
it shuffles it feels like money that's how that's that's why I was like so drawn to it it feels like money um, this one still has the copyright on it I do not unfortunately I do not own a Rider Waite deck that doesn't have the copyright I think that would be amazing to, to own a copy but eh. so mine still has the copyright on it um, but it is an older version of the deck so this is the one that you guys see a lot in my um, videos my reading videos I use this one a lot I just like to shuffle it <laughs> it feels really good um, okay the very first tarot deck that I ever owned is the original Rider Waite. So that is the one with the blue and white lilies on the backs. So instead of the, um, the plaid, it went to the lilies, as you can see. And the version, this version of the original Rider Waite, um, again, the colors are very... How do I say this? Like they look more vintage. I think I guess that's I guess that would be a good word. They're more vintage looking. So let me show you the This is the newest one. They're more different. They're darker, they're vintage, there's more browns. So almost like if you slapped on a filter <laughs> on that rider weight, um that's what you would get with the um the original. There's browns. The nameplate, instead of it being gray, you have um, browns. And again, like you still have the you know the bright colors, but the difference is instead of like those blue bright backgrounds, it's more of like a green color, kind of like a like a teal, aqua green. I don't know. I kind of I really like this one better. Um, it's just more like earthy, warmer than the other one. So let me show you as an example, let me show you the high priestess, huge difference. So this is the, the newest Rider Waite version. Here's the original, see the difference? So I really like, I prefer the original. I think it looks really nice. So this is the deck that I, <laughs> this was my first, my little, my first baby. Um, next I have, this one doesn't get looked at a lot. Um, this is the Morgan Greer Tarot. The card backs are blues with some white stars. And the really cool thing about this version is it's almost as if you zoomed in on all of the characters. So every card, there's no borders, but it's almost like everything is zoomed in. So you still get like the same imagery. It's just like it was zoomed in. <laughs> you just get more of like the person versus like all of the backdrop. So that's kind of nice. It's a nice version. Let me see if I could show you. Even like with the with the knights, all of the court cards are zoomed in. So that's the Knight of Swords right there. My version is in um, Italian. I believe this is Italian. Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Um, <clears throat> the Ace of Wands. And here's the two of wands. So see what I mean? Like everything's kind of zoomed in. So it's kind of cool, but um, if you're not into that, you may not like the Morgan Greer. So that's a cool version of the Rider Waite that's different. I don't think it gets a lot of love. I don't really see that one being used much by a lot of people. Okay, this version of the Rider Waite was a fun one um, when Halloween season was up. You know how like Halloween shops in the US, they'll open up the spirit Halloween. So in, um, in that Halloween shop, there were tarot decks and this was the year that they had the actual Rider Waite decks. <laughs> so I bought one because it was only like $5. I believe this last year, this last Halloween season, um, Spirit Halloween had a tarot deck, but it wasn't Rider Waite at all. It was like something else. So I was really fortunate to have grabbed the Rider weight one because it's like, you can never have too many Rider weight decks. <laughs> so this one has very, very, very blunt 
colors. Um, it's actually kind of in your face at times. The reds, the oranges are very dark. The I actually like the Hermit card, this version, because it's like darker. So really dark and just um, <laughs> really bad color scheme, I think. It, this one is kind of uh, not the greatest. But it kind of photographs pretty. I've used it in some pictures a few times. The thing about this one is um, the borders are a little bit thicker. So this is the, um, the newest Rider Waite. This is the one that I got at the Halloween store. So as you can see, like the white borders are much thicker on this version. And the card backs are really cool. They're a dark blue with yellow stars. So it's really similar to the Universal Tarot, which I'll show you right now. But it's, um, it's kind of cool. So not bad, right? For five bucks, like to get a tarot deck. That was pretty cool. But kind of unfortunate though that they didn't have, um, that they didn't have the same deck there last, the last um, season. So that was kind of a, wah, wah. <laughs> okay. The next one. This is the um, 1990s version of the Universal Weight. So there's actually a more modern version of the Universal Weight. Um, in stores, but mine is I bought the 90s version on, on eBay This is um, 1990 So this one I got on like I said, I got it on eBay. I only paid 10 bucks for it, which is not bad um, So if you want the 90s version, I would still I would go get it now <laughs> I would go get it now on um, on eBay They have the, you could still find some pretty cheap and you can get like the box set so um, I would recommend it because one of these days, the 90s version is gonna be sky high in price. That's usually what happens with like the more out of print decks. But because um, there's still a, a recent version of the universal weight going around, I think that's why like this one isn't as cheap or isn't as expensive yet, I think. <laughs> But I guarantee you this one will be up there in price. Um, I actually owned a newer version of the Universal Weight, but then I got rid of it because I didn't like it. And I'm actually finding that I really like the 90s version over the, the, more, the, the more newer one. Reason being, the card backs are a little bit different in color. The, the older ones, they're a little bit darker. And... Um, the drawings and stuff, not really my fave. Oh, where's my fool? They're not really my fave. They kind of look like color pencil drawn, you know, like, like they were colored in with color pencil. Um, but I really like this version. I feel like this one's more muted than the newer um, universal weight that's going out there. There's, there was one at um, Barnes and Noble and I wanted to buy it just to see. <laughs> that's how, that's awful. But I wanted to buy it just to see how it compared to my 90s version, but I didn't buy it. So maybe, maybe we'll see if I have, if I have extra money on me and I feel like doing that. But um, I feel like the 90s version is much more lighter, muted colors than the newer one. So I prefer this one. I really, I'm actually really digging this. The colors are just, they're not as bad so here's a Rider weight, and here's the Universal. So obviously you could tell this one looks more penciled, like pencil drawn. This one is more like black lines. Does that make sense? Let's see. The picture itself, everything looks just more put together, more details going into the, the Universal, whereas the um, Rider weight just kind of looks more simple simple. <laughs> Let's show you another card. Let me show you the High Priestess. I put all of these in order for this reason so I could just grab them. So see the High Priestess and the regular Rider Waite and this is the Universals. Can you guys see the difference? It's just a big, a huge difference. And then if you put her side by side with the original, the original Rider Waite, which is even different. I mean, then you just have like totally different, just total different looks to these cards. So I kind of dig it though. 
All right. So that is the universal weight, the 90s version. Um, I'll leave it out. I'll leave it out of the box for now. Okay, next is the Radiant Rider Weight. This one, <laughs> this one, I actually trimmed the backs to mine. I trimmed the, the backs. I trimmed the, the borders. So this is why it looks so crazy. And it's glossy. There, there's two different versions. Like this one actually housed the one that was not as glossy, but I can't find that deck. I don't know if I sold it or if it's like in a deck bag somewhere in a purse that I forgot about. So I kind of have to find it. But <laughs> my other Radiant Rider weight was actually more glossy. And um, I trimmed the borders off of it. So it's like a nice little palm size tarot deck. But look at how radiant. That's why it's called the Radiant Rider weight. Because look at how bright and full of life these cards are. It's gorgeous. Like, it's like a rainbow when you go through the whole deck. It's beautiful. Look at those details. It is beautiful. So I think that the Radiant is really pretty. I think it's one that should be in everybody's. Look at that gorgeous Three of Swords. <laughs> it should be in everybody's collection. The backs are bl um, blue with little, um, little yellow, tiny little stars on them. So here is the... Rider weight. Here's the radiant rider weight. See the difference? So that's the radiant rider weight, and I'll leave this guy out too. Okay. Next, I have the golden universal tarot. This guy I have had for years, and I don't know why I don't use it more often. I tend to pull this one out for the summer season, though, because of the golds. <sighs> this deck is so beautiful when the sun hits it. So here are the card backs, this gorgeous yellowy design here. Um, it has gold foil as the background. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the Fool. There's the Magician. <laughs> so this is the Golden Universal. The pictures are pretty much, they follow Rider weight, but they're, obviously they're different. Like the Fool looks nothing like the Rider weight Fool. Similar like um, clothing and all of that but the face and everything looks completely different. <laughs> so, um, but every single card, like here's the nine of pentacles. The pentacles have the gold foil on them. It's absolutely, let me put this so you guys can see. It is gorgeous. Um, where's the three of swords? Here's the Three of Swords. Gorgeous. So that is the Golden Universal Tarot. You could probably still find it on Amazon. I don't know if it's still in print. I, it's been a while since I've, I've looked, but that's that. I, I bought this one on Amazon. Um, next we have the Albano weight. I don't have the box for this one, which I kick myself for because I should have saved it. Um, but this is a out of print tarot deck, I believe. I think you can find some cheap ones on Amazon or eBay, but be very careful because they tend to send fake ones now. Like I've, I've heard people get fake ones and it's like super glossy and it's really ugly. Like it just looks super blurry. It's really sad. So the Albano weight has the white backs with a little gold sun on them. And the color scheme in this deck is out of this world. <laughs> it is so in your face. Um, you have your typical yellow sun, yellow skies, but you have like, the colors are just way, way, way different. So here's our High Priestess in the regular tarot. Here's the High Priestess in the Albano weight. 
So the color scheme is way different. Um, let me show you, like, look at this devil card. He has purple wings and red eyes. I mean, <laughs> can't get spookier than that. The other cool thing about this deck that really stands out is the skies. So the sky in the pentacle suit is green. And the pentacles themselves are like a red and green color. Um, the skies in the, the courts are purple. <laughs> um, I'm sure it means something, but I don't have the guidebook for this deck. Look at that three of swords. So different, right? And then the sky in the, um, the sword suit is like yellow. Then you have blues. Then you have orange sky for all of the wands. You have blue sky for the quartz. This weird green color for... <laughs> for the cups and then blue like it's wild the colors in this deck are crazy so that is the albano weight um next i have the golden rider tarot this is the french edition so not in english it's in french i gotta like tape up this box it's falling apart <laughs> um so the card backs in the Golden Rider are browns and pinks, really pretty, like diff just different. <sighs> the color scheme in this deck is beautiful, and this deck unfortunately is out of print. So if you want to get a copy on eBay, be prepared to pay a, a pretty penny. Like I haven't seen them cheap anywhere. <laughs> this is the full. Look at the difference, you guys. Look at that. So this is more golds more gold hues like just warmer way warmer um the artwork is just so different so we have the magician the high priestess look at how gorgeous this empress looks with her eyeshadow <laughs> just different it's so different look at the hermit is in a black sky instead of like that purple or blue sky I love the death card with the with the red sky. I think that's pretty cool. So, really nice. I love this deck. I had wanted it for so long. And when I snagged a copy, look at that three of swords. <laughs> when I snagged a copy, I was so excited. So that is the Golden Rider. Like I said, it's out of print. So if you are lucky enough to get a copy, at a good price get it like don't don't hold back don't wait do not wait <laughs> um don't wait on the wait <laughs> okay next we have um this is the 1910 writer tarot this one i found on ebay oh, no no i'm not not ebay i found this one on etsy the 1910 writer tarot this one is really cool um, it was just a remake. Someone someone did the, the art digitally. Like, they redid it. Freaking love this deck. Um, first off, the card stock is way different. It looks like it's like a linen finish, but it's glossy. So, I don't know how to explain that. The card backs are really cool. The card backs are galaxies. And the color scheme in this deck is very muted. It kind of reminds me of the original Rider weight, but it's much lighter. Like as if you used the fade filter. <laughs> the fade filter on it, it's like much lighter. So definitely not as bright as that other Rider weight tarot. And yes, I wrote on mine, I wrote the little symbols for um, the um, astrology symbols because I wanted to use this deck specifically for studying tarot and astrology so that's what i've been doing but look at how see what i mean like they're muted they're much more pale softer i really really like this so let's look at the hermit compared to the original or not the original but like the hermit compared to the plaid backed tarot so this is the Rider Waite, the plaid backs. This is the Hermit in the 1910. So almost the same, but as you could tell, it's just 
It's a little bit blurry. Um, this deck is blurry because it's it's a reprint. It's like it's a the, the person did it themselves. So pretty cool. I love the little. I love clone decks like where you can find like cool stuff like that. So this one was on. Um, e, uh, I want to keep wanting to say eBay, but it was on um, Etsy. I will do my best to list all of the names and where you could buy the decks, the ones on Etsy and stuff, but bear with me, it may take me a while to do that. So that is the 1910 Rider Tarot. Um, next is the Holographic Tarot. <laughs> this one has so much potential to be a freaking amazing deck. I wish they would redo it and just get rid of some stuff. <laughs> like make it bigger for one thing. So the holographic tarot, I <laughs> this one was made in China. So a lot of them on eBay, you find them, they're being shipped from China. So it's gonna take about a month to get to you depending on where you're at. So it took me about a month to get it. But look at the box, isn't that cool? It's holographic. So this is the high priestess on my box. I don't know if it's the same for all of them, but. This is the card back. So as you can see, very narrow cards. The right way, it's much bigger, much larger. Um, but the card backs are really pretty. I actually really like the card backs on this deck. <laughs> I just wish it was bigger, because look, you have these big, thick black borders. You have, it says the fool, and then it says it in another language. There you go at the bottom. And, but you have like the fool, but he's so small. Like, I just wish it would be big, right? Like make him this size, <laughs> make him that size, but in holographic. So there you go, but they're beautiful and they photograph really nicely. If you can get like the rainbow to come out just perfect. So that's the holographic tarot. I think I bought this one for seven bucks. It was super cheap on eBay. And I think now you could find them, I think they're going for like $20 now. Maybe maybe you could find them for cheaper, but friggin' love it, look it. It's just so pretty, so it's a fun one to read with. I just wish it was bigger. That's my only hang up about it. Make it bigger. <laughs> um, next we have, this is the acid, um, weight on acid tarot. So this one was another Etsy purchase. It's called the Weight on Acid Tarot. The card backs have a picture of uh, whom I'm assuming is Mr. Arthur Edward Waite. And then we have the Fool. Freaking cool. Like, I mean, it's hard to see the picture sometimes, but it looks, it looks like you're tripping out. Like <laughs> it is such a funky deck. It is so cool. So if you are just into buying Rider weight clone decks just for the sake of them, get this one. It's so cute. So I got this one, like I said, on Etsy, but look, at, it's just so cool. It's so different. So that's the weight on acid. Um, this is the cosmic tarot. So um, the girl that created this deck um, actually has created the entire tarot deck. So I only have the, the major arcana because back in the day when she first came out with it, um, she only did the majors. So I'm hoping to purchase, I actually should just purchase it now. I don't know why I haven't done it. Um, I should pur purchase the, the full blown deck because it's so cute, it's different. So it's called the Cosmic Tarot. I don't know if she still has the same name for it, but I'm gonna try and put her information in the in the drop down menu so you guys can see. But I gotta go hunting for the website. So that's the Cosmic Tarot. Look at it. It has galaxy background. So each character is white, and the backgrounds are cosmic. So cool, right? It's just different. It's different. And I thought it was so clever. So I bought a copy and now I want, <laughs> look at that devil. 
now I want to have the um, everything. So I might go purchase that right when this video is over. So that is the Cosmic Tarot. Um, okay. Next is, this is, okay. So Carol Herzer makes, re, like redoes the, the, the Rider Waite version with her own artistic touch, right? So on her website, you can purchase different sizes of her decks, this and that. They're pretty pricey. This one was the first one that I got from her. She, she puts her decks in her very own um, bags that she sews, which is really cute. And she puts like a card on the, the front of it. So this is the Starlight Illuminated Tarot. The only thing is I should have got this deck. I bought it in the large size. I should have got it in the small because after I purchased this one, it, which is a smaller version, um, it's a different different art though, um, I should have just gotten for the smaller one because I don't know if this is the same for all of her decks that are larger, but it seems like it was blurry because it was bigger in size. Could have been a printing issue, I don't know. Not all of the cards are blurry, but some of them are and I don't like it, but it's a beautiful deck regardless. It's meant to look like an illuminated starry night in each card, and each, yeah, like pretty, pretty much for each card. Look at how beautiful. They're very glossy, which was a eh, but it's one of, it's literally one of a kind. You're not gonna find a deck like this anywhere. So that was the only bummer. Um, I also ordered mine without the, um, the titles and stuff. Look at the star. So, but this is the moon. Some of them are blurry and the picture, like, like my son, look at his face. He's kind of blurry. So that was a little bit of a, I was not very pleased with that. This one looks blurry. But you know what? Whatever. <laughs> it's just cool. Look at this Three of Swords. So that's the Starlight Illuminated Tarot. And the card backs, I don't know if I showed you, but here they are. They're blue with stars. And then the this is the Illuminated Tarot. Look at this deck bag. It is so cute. It has moons and suns on it. Wow, this video is going to be long. I only have two more to show you guys, so hang in there. <laughs> oh, fuck, this one's so pretty. So here are the card backs. They're purple. You've seen this deck pop up in my client video readings a few times. Look at the fool. Isn't that beautiful? The High Priestess. So the cards themselves are... Um, they're small, but they're easy to shuffle like this, especially because they're super, 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 oh my God, I think my favorite is the devil. They're super glossy. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. <laughs> look at, oh, and then the tower. Just look at those colors. Fucking gorgeous. So I was really pleased with this one. I think it's just beautiful. Um, look at the four of pentacles. Just never, you're not going to find a deck like this. But unfortunately, they are rather expensive. So if you have the money and you don't mind spending a bit of extra cash, do it. But they are pricey, that's for sure. I only own two of her decks. Every once in a while, um, they will pop up on like the trading sites on Facebook, the groups. So if you're lucky, maybe you can snag one from there. Um, usually the people aren't selling them for as super expensive, but it's, it's, you gotta be on the hunt. Next one, this is the After Tarot. And here are, those are the title cards. Here are the card backs. So the After Tarot, the whole thing about this one is this is the imagery after the Rider Waite. So what happens after? So here's the Fool. 
he actually fell off the cliff, but he's taken the time to smell a flower. So it's pretty cool. It's like you, you get your own little story out of these. Um, so it follows the Rider Waite, like the imagery and stuff for the most part, but I mean the characters and stuff, but the after pictures are funny. So that's a cool one. I got this one at Barnes and Noble. get it mixed up and last but not least the before tarot and this one takes place the imagery takes place of what's happening right before the rider weight and the card backs on these are really pretty I like these you have the lilies and the red roses and um, it's just imagery of what's taking place before Rider Waite. Look at this. Oh, I freaking love that one. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, they're really pretty. So they're fun to work with. <laughs> they're different. But that is my Rider Waite Clone Tarot Deck Collection, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and lasting this whole half hour. Um, I really appreciate it. If you are curious about any of the decks, please don't hesitate. Leave a comment below. And like I said, when I have time, I will go through and add the titles of the decks and um, the links to some of the Etsy ones where I bought them. Um, but like I said, do a Google search. You could probably find it really easy. <laughs> and um, thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye, love.